Hi and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today, this tutorial will be how to make the universal introduction. Um, you'll need Blender, uh, a sense of humour, and an IQ above two, obviously, and a keyboard, <laughs> and uh, a mouse, ideally. If not, then you know, you, if you're on a laptop, then right and left click key that works. So to start off with, I've downloaded this, uh, which is normally available from uh, Mega Upload. Now, what you need to do is obviously open this up, go to Universal Disk Blender file. The one that I recommend is 2.65. What you need to do here is press Tab delete now in my case my file is called PC power 2025 press enter again you then need to put your cursor above the P or anywhere along where the writing is press alt and C press alt and C again you can see it's changed a little bit now if you notice this, this little dot, red dot, that needs to be in the center over here. Now to do that, you would press Control, Shift, Alt and C. Put the origin to 3D cursor in the middle. You then need to click on 1, where it says, this is the frame by the way, current frame. You need to put in 1 you then need to click twice on the shape key you then press tab you pressed shift and W Ooh, I did it wrong pardon me press shift and W now it's come all the way around you just need to put it just behind where it starts click now I've clicked it, press tab again, it will send you here. Now here you need to put in 1 in the keyframe. As you can see it's done it all the way, it's brought it all the way back. You then need to right click on this and insert keyframe. The next bit you need to do is again go to frame 180, press this again, press enter and again right click on where the value is and insert keyframe I've done that now the next I need to go to frame 270 now as you can see it's nearly there but not quite here you need to change the value to 0 and there you go hey presto it's done it's as easy as that you then need to insert keyframe that's now done. Next I recommend going to this little camera here that will show you where you render. I then recommend, on, I personally click on this then I've added where my where my file should save, sorry. I click accept I then need to go to the frame rate and do 29.97 that's what I recommend but you don't have to do that you can pick 25 or 24 you can see this is at H264 that's perfectly fine nothing wrong with that except in Windows 10 this will show up as an AVI file now if you like me use Sony Vegas Pro 13 AVI files are a valid file so to beat that you need to do this click on encoding 
pre go to presets click H264 again click here format click on QuickTime it will automatically save as a H264 file you then need to press the most important button animate now this will animate the item it's loading slowly now be patient because it takes a little while uh, for the file to render with some computers it may take a few hours with some it may take about 10 to 15 minutes and this is what it should look like whilst it's rendering and this is the completed version I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please come back and subscribe for more and always leave me, as always leave me comments thanks very much thank you bye bye